So my name is Margarita Turco. I am a Royal Society and Dorothy Hodgkin Research Fellow at the Centre for Trophoblast Research, which is in the University of Cambridge. And I work on um, human reproduction, so I'm particularly interested in studying how the endometrium, which is the lining of the uterus, regenerates um, at, at every cycle and how it prepares for pregnancy. And this has been really difficult to study in the human context because there have been no physiologically relevant or functional models. So um, I've been trying to set up organoid systems to model the human endometrium in vitro. I think it's very important to um, get to know your cultures really well, so how they grow, what they should look like. So you should monitor them well and, and passage them at the right time so that you have you know, healthy, like optimally growing organoids for your experiments. And what I found also really useful is um, using electronic pipetters for passaging the organoids because it saves a lot of time and you can do it very reproducibly. So organoids model the epithelial component of the tissue. So it's lacking the endothelium, for example, and the immune cells. And this can be an advantage um, because you're working with a clean system. But um, for what I'm studying, the stromal cells of the endometrium are very important and, and regulating also gland activity. So I think the next challenge would be able to find robust co-culture systems to model the organoids, the epithelial component, together with the stromal components to have a more complete um, model of the tissue. So I think it would be important to have defined and, and tailored matrices in which to grow the organoids. So matrices that more accurately um, re recapitulate the composition and the stiffness of the extracellular matrix of your tissue of interest, I think would be great. Well, organoids have been now derived from almost all the major organs and they have been really important in helping us understand about the tissue formation and, and the cell lineage relationships. But besides that, I think the most important advancements are, are coming in the field of really being able to uh, model disease and especially you know drugs setting up drug screening systems to um, to have uh, novel approaches in personalized medicine and i think we're already starting to see that with the new the recent publications <laughs>